And a very good evening, everybody. Some two weeks ago, we introduced you to four members of the Williston Sea Lions who were headed to the Senior Cup in St. Petersburg, Florida, where they would face international competition. Well, 15-year-old Cambry Draper did very well in the 200 breaststroke. She finished third and was one of 47 swimmers in the event. And tonight, well, she tells us all about it. Um, it was really just focusing on my mindset. Like, it was the last day, a long week. It was really focusing on keeping my mind in it. A lot of swimmers you've seen on the first day, they were even like, oh, I don't want to be here, I'm done. Like, I was in the locker room and they were like, oh, I don't want to swim this final. I don't like long course. You just got to keep your brain, mind in it. I mean, you beat out 46 other swimmers. I mean, there were, there were 46 other swimmers who were in that competition. I mean, that's impressive. Yeah, it was really crazy. Like, just to experience that with the team, the five that went, it was crazy just to build that bond closer. I mean, now you know, I realize you're only 15 years old, but now you know you can compete with anybody. I mean, this was an international field. Yeah, it was crazy. So we watched a 15-year-old break Caleb Dressel's records, meet records. It was pretty cool to watch that. And then just like the turns, the unique turns and the starts and finishes that we've seen is pretty cool. Very different from any other meet you've ever been in, right? It was definitely different. Our team had a big eye opening to see other teams compete like that. It was crazy. Music blaring, different environment. Oh yeah, music was blaring. It was a good environment. The announcer was really hype. What do you think you've learned from this? I think I've learned um, how to compete with that. like that you can't get in your head and let other people get in your head. It's a mind game. Yeah, very much so. And you've worked very, very hard so you know you're prepared. Yeah, my team has really pushed me. Cam has really pushed me. So you have to feel good about the future. Yeah. Goal eventually, make the U.S. Olympic team? Yeah, definitely. All right, there you go. She also was sixth in the 100 breaststroke in a field of 75, sixth in the 400 IM in a field of 31. I also told her I covered Virgil Hill, who won a silver medal in boxing back in 1984 at the LA Games. She liked that story, so I have experience covering people who get to the Olympics from Williston. Maybe she will be the next. Holy cow, off to a very good start. Uh, we got some snow in Glendive this morning, so no baseball or softball. No baseball or softball for the Tetons. They hope to get things rolling uh, on Monday at 12. We will certainly hope that's the case. 12 Montana time. Frozen four. Boston University has rolled over people this year, but they're going home. Minnesota, the Golden Gophers, former longtime rival of UND, blows it open and wins 6-2. They will take on Quinnipiac of Connecticut, who beat Michigan 5-2. So, of course, UConn won the men's basketball title. Will hockey also come to the state of Connecticut with a national title? We will uh, see. At the Masters, Brooks Kopka fired a 7-under-65, tied with Victor Hovland and John. Rame. Twins were slated to open their home schedule today, but that contest called due to the weather. They hope to get it in tomorrow at 310. They give the ball to the veteran Sonny Gray after dropping two to the Marlins this week. Twins come home with a slate of four and two. How about the Wild? Can they make a nice postseason run? Well, they fell to Pittsburgh four to one, but they have put together a very good season and a very important final weekend, the regular season for the Timberwolves as uh, they're 40 and 40 on the season and they will be at San Antonio trying to get into those playoffs. Let's take a timeout on First News at 10.